Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about one of the Pritzker Architecture Prize laureates, Hans Hollein. Hans Hollein was an Austrian artist, an architect, a designer, a professor, and a writer. He was a key figure of postmodern architecture. He was born on March 30, 1934 in Vienna, Austria. He was married to Helene and had two children, Max and Lily. He died on April 24, 2014 at the age of 80 years old. As an educator and author, he traveled extensively across Europe and America and was known for his time as a lecturer at Yale School of Architecture, Washington University, Kunst Academy Dusseldorf, and the University of Applied Arts in Vienna. Richard Meyer, a winner of the Pritzker Architecture Prize in 1984, describes Hans as an architect whose groundbreaking rules have had a major impact on the thinking of designers and architects. He was the 1985 Pritzker Architecture Prize laureate. The jury described Hollein as a master of his profession, whose design is reflected with wit and eclecticism, the traditions of both the new world and the old, and a superb teacher who taught by example that design must be the focus and not the designer. Hans worked in all aspects of design, from architecture to furniture, jewelry, glasses, lamps, and even door handles. Hans Hollein is considered one of the successful architects. His projects exhibited his provocative design skills, and it possessed a certain sense of wit and comical visual representation that described the true essence of the design, thus inspiring many architects to develop new concepts of their own. His notable projects are the following. Number one, the Reti Candle Shop in Vienna, Austria. This shop is located in the most exclusive shopping street in the center of Vienna, Austria. The concept of the shop is also the concept of a city. The outside space was to continue into the inside in one spatial flow with no change of the main material. The great spatial differentiations, narrow passages, enclosing spaces, openings into the indefinite and the somewhat processional concept create a feeling of size and movement, a sensation of pulsation of space, overcoming the limited size. Aluminum is used as the primary material throughout the exterior and interior. It is used in the form of structural sections and sheets handled in various ways. All surfaces are polished, anodized, and the natural color of the material is preserved. It is easy to form and work with, and the lightness of the material allowed assembling the large parts already in the workshop, and the surface met the functional and aesthetical requirements. The elegance and nobility of the material was in keeping with the desired character and was used as the main theme of design, its silver hue providing the image of the shop in advertising and packaging. Number two, the Abteiburg Museum in Mönchengladbach, Germany. It is in the historic center of the city of Mönchengladbach, adjacent to the cathedral and a Baroque abbey. It is a museum of contemporary art built into the face of a prominent hillside. The complex is a walk-on building. Its surface is for public use and for open-air sculptures. Outside a complex architectural ensemble, it is inside a succession of a variety of white, neutral, yet characteristic spaces in different configurations and light situations. It is a three-dimensional matrix, making a walk through the museum a dialectic and spatial experience. Landscaping was an integral part of the design. Number three, the MMK Museum of Modern Art, also known as the Frankfurt Museum für Moderne Kunst in Frankfurt, Germany. It is in the historic heart of the city of Frankfurt and determined by its compact triangular site. Because of its triangular shape, it is popularly called piece of cake. The symmetry of the site and the building is overlaid by a diagonally asymmetrical path through the building, which consists of mainly three floors, one with a central top-lit hall and a top floor with skylights. The outside building block had to keep a given cornice height and integrate itself in the urban fabric in terms of materials and continuation of existing street arcades. On top is a premeditated roofscape of skylights and spaces for mechanical equipment. Like any building, like any public building in Frankfurt, 
This one is also made of red sandstone and stucco, also for economic reasons. Number four, the Haas House in Vienna, Austria. This building in downtown Vienna is diagonally opposite the St. Stephen's Cathedral. It was conceived as a luxury commercial mixed use building with shops, offices, and gastronomy. It contains a five-story interior atrium with high quality and luxury stores, three floors of offices, and a rooftop restaurant, and another in the Sala Terrena. The outside configuration is determined by the shape of the site, which in turn mirrors the corner of the old Roman fortification. It cantilevers partly over the subway, and this projection creates an intended separation between two urban spaces. The careful detailing of a consciously complex building is reflected in the curved stone skin, structural glazing facades, and metal claddings. The reflective facade is perhaps the most fascinating aspect of this structure. It emphasizes the Haas House's historical surroundings and each of the individual panels is a functional window which tilts outward to allow ventilation. Number 5. The Museum of Glass and Ceramics in Tehran, Iran Pauline retrofitted a private residence turned embassy in Tehran and turned it into a luxurious showplace for art and craftsmanship that blended Eastern and Western styles, including elegant wooden staircases and stucco moldings. It is a combination of Iranian and European, specific, and European of the 19th century architectural style in this mansion. The first floor is joined to the second floor through wooden stairs. To set the entrance, temperature, and light into the building, they used double glazed windows instead of wooden doors. It is located in a 7,000-meter garden, which is astoundingly decorated with intricate wooden windows and 50 kinds of brickwork. It is inspired by European and Russian architecture. This brilliant complex still boosts the art of Iranian architecture by breathtaking stuccos, mirror works, and delicate carvings. And number six, the Volcania Museum in Auvergne, France. It is situated within extinct volcanoes on an altitude of 1.000 meters. This complex serves to inform about, educate on, and experience the primeval forces of nature and the creation of our planet. The complex is mostly planned underground. A ramp leads to the emblematic volcano structure which is located at the heart of the complex. It features a metaphorical volcano, a cone-like structure that splits into two, revealing the golden interiors and the underground levels in a sneak peek. It is lined in steel, dark stone, and gold, which provides a colorful symbol of geothermic power. Its cone is cladded in dark volcanic stone lined inside with golden metal animated by light. The materials chosen are of volcanic origin. One of the intentions of the design was to appeal to the five senses. To achieve this, he has worked with sulfurous odors and the roaring sounds of an erupting volcano. This design stands out as one of the architect's best and noted museum designs in the world for its approach and interpretation. Other than Dimension 6, he also has other notable works such as the Shulin One Jewelry Store, the Rostras Apartments, the Generali Media Tower, the Interbank Headquarters, the Austrian Embassy, the Niederösterreichisches Landes Museum, the Centrum Bank, the CMEO Apartment Towers, and the Peset 515. Hans Hollein was a recipient of numerous prizes for his works. Among them are the following such as the Pritzker Architecture Prize in 1985. Other than that, he received the R.S. Reynolds Memorial Award endowed by the American Institute of Architects, the Prize for Architecture of the City of Vienna, a Grand Austrian State Prize for Architecture, the Austrian Decoration for, Sir, for Science and Art, a Gold Decoration for Services to Vienna, a Grand Merit Cross of the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany, Officer of the Legion of Honor, Honorary Medal of the Austrian Capital Vienna in Gold, Grand Decoration of Honor in Gold for Services to the Republic of Austria, and the Golden Rathausmann. 
Hans Hollein often said that architecture was art. He quoted, To me, architecture is not primarily the solution to a problem, but the making of a statement. Thank you for listening.